my camera keeps disconnecting to my phone. If it does one more time, I'm literally gonna just choke this camera like it, like the bitch it is. Can't sleep because I'm broke again. If I turn off the light, it is 5 a.m. in the morning. Can't lie to you, the Apple Watch doesn't lie. I don't think I can change the time on the Apple Watch, can I? What the fuck, dude? Hey, you can see, look. Turn it on. 5 a.m. Guys. Yeah, I'm broken and everything. I'm struggling and etc, etc. And I can't sleep because of it. That's why I'm awake. Then I get an ounce of sleep last night. I think I might try to power nap a bit until like 10 a.m. So we get like five, six hours of sleep, 10, 11. If we get six hours of sleep, I'm very, very happy. I was sleeping during the entire fucking morning like a degenerate. And then I'll be waking up scrambling in order to wear clothes in order to go to some event that I don't really want to go to because I'm sleep deprived. And I think that I should be spending the time trying to fix my sleep instead of going to this event. Anyways, ignore that. Um, ignore that. Like, holy shit. What was, it? what was it again? I'm reading a book called The Millionaire Fast Lane. And it talks about how... Um, and did Marco, uh, like he talk, reads an article about a young woman named Callie from the UK who several years ago won million, millions in a lottery, only to lose half of it, most of it, then shortly thereafter. Of course, lose implies the entire bag of cash flew out of her car while she was cruising down the boulevard in a brand new convertible. She didn't lose it, she spent it. She was 16 years old when she won the 3 million. It only took her 6 years to blow it. Drugs, partying, exotic cars, breast implants and jaw dropping, $730,000. In designer clothes. The problem? Callie thought she was rich and spent like she was rich. Surely she bought into her title, I'm a millionaire. While $3 million is a decent chunk of change, she needed $30 million for her lifestyle. Let's not listen to that $3 million, $30 million, etc., etc. Let's think about it extra. The majority of people have no fucking plan to become rich. And the majority of people, when you bring it up, you talk about some improvement, you talk about good habits, you talk about, like, you know, not being a fucking loser, like playing video games and or being on social media. I think the equivalent of a loser for a man or woman is the girl who has like a million snap score on Snapchat and the guy who plays video games all day. They're both like equal loserism. At least one of them could potentially be hot, which is like a redeeming quality. And that shit fades like, like a fucking, like a flash in the pan, right? I think both individuals are losers because they're all just fucking consumed by social media. And like, I love social media in the sense of content creation, but it's in the content consumption, bro, what the fuck, man? Like, there is infinite content out there. You could get lost consuming all that content. It is fucking dangerous. All of it's dangerous. And Snapchat is one of the worst apps to communicate with. The worst social media, like, period. What the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about, man? <sighs> Anyways, the majority of people have no plan to become rich. I ask a question often, and I know this because I ask a question often that constitutes life purpose, and then the majority of people are fucking stupid when it comes to this question. Let me explain. Listen, listen up, listen up, okay, run. I ask people the question so let's say you won $1 billion after tax, <laughs> what would you do thereafter? You have one billion, you've partied already, you've already lived that lifestyle, you've got the nice cars, the nice house, you went on holiday here, holiday there, you've done, you have all the materialistic worldly desires you could possibly ask for. What do you do after? And for me, I answered, I will still do boxing, I will still do YouTube for content creation for fun, live streaming for fun, not necessarily for the money, but for fun, because I, I find it quite rewarding, you know, creating a, a community. I will do my science based businesses, my tech businesses like Elon Musk, and then. I will probably go around having a lot of kids. So that's my life purposes. That's it. Quite boring, I know. The most exotic part is fucking going to space and making robot arms for like disabled people and shit. Like fucking cyborg. But it probably won't be like that. Probably be like more practical testing. Testing one, testing two, testing 567. Uh, that probably is going to be the reality of the situation. Anyways. Let me tell you this, um, the story of how people fucking responded to this question. Because people have no life purpose. Because people are all losers. And um, yeah, I, honestly, I'll constitute myself as a loser as well. Until I'm a multi-multi-millionaire and I reach the point of what I want to reach, I'm a fucking loser, bro. 
Anyways, that's um, irrelevant. No need to project on you guys. We know we're all losers here. So this is part, we're part of the loser club. The majority of the people that reply to this question, like, what would I do after a billion? They usually, like, remark to something snappy, like, oh, the tax, oh, that's too much money, oh, like, what the fuck, bro? It's a hypothetical question in order to uncover your purpose. So ask, so fucking rebuttaling with stupid questions. They're always ready to get into an argument, man. The fuck? Too much money. Yes, it is too much money, bro. It's a billion. There's a guy, Elon, with fucking hundred of, of that billion, bro. The fuck? What the fuck, man? Stupid, man. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, people, the majority of people that answer this question, they usually answer with, Oh, I'd invest. Invest in what? Oh, I don't know, stock market. Then I talk about hedge funds. Then I talk about index funds. Then I talk about uh, hand-picking stock. Then I talk about portfolio creation. Mutual funds. They don't even know what a fucking mutual fund is. These people are fucking stupid, bro. God. And these are doctors, lawyers, and... Like, no, actually, no, they're not, they won't have to be doctors or lawyers. Potentially lawyers, because they are, can argue so easily. But not doctors. Fucking crazy, man. Oh, my God. Invest. 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 The most common one. Everyone says invest. My little cousin... I'm going to call him C. I mean, he's a fucking idiot. Now tell him to his face he's an idiot. He's like, I want to be an investor when I grow up. And, it, and I asked him the question, like, do you think you become rich if you're an investor? He's like, yeah. Okay, so what are you going to invest in to become rich? Uh, I don't know. This guy's fucking 15 or 16. I think he just turned 16. And he's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Like, what the fuck? 16, I was already in, uh, consuming uh, information on this shit. I already knew what uh, thing is, most of this shit was. Well, all these kids are retarded, man. It's fucking crazy. I think including myself as well, considering the choices I made in the past. I make the truth, and it honestly, it's retarded for me to like talk to these people as well. Like, it's quite, it's quite grating, isn't it? Like, holy shit, these people like this guy, my, my cousin, he's a fucking idiot. Like, oh my god, man, fuck. I'm honestly kind of glad I don't talk to him that much anymore because his family is psychotic. Like, they literally. I, I'll tell you the story about that real quick. Like I literally bring him out to my boxing gym, and I come train with him. And he really wants to train and get in good, in good shape, the physique, whatever, whatever. whatever. Yeah, as every boy does. And he's training really hard, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then one time I bring him home at like 10, 30, and then suddenly like the entire family goes a wall, and they start fucking sending me threats and disrespecting me. They're like oh, uh, I was literally super respectful. I'm like, hey, bro, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. I'll bring him on time. Don't worry about it. Nothing's gonna happen, etc., etc., etc. And they're like, oh, you fucking bitch, uh, you little shit, piece of shit. I'm gonna come to your, uh, I'm gonna come to your house and uh, meet your parents. Like, threaten me, say, talk to that me in person. Like, and bitch, what the fuck did I did? All that text, all that t shit talking. You know what I did? You know what I did, bro? I pulled up to the house, and they did fucking nothing. These little fucking Asian people, man. I'm Asian as well myself. This is friendly fire. That's okay to say. I don't understand. Like, they talk so much shit, bro. Online on text. I pulled up and nothing fucking happened, bro. Skinny, scrawny, little, small bastard. And was trying the most shit. And it was pissing me off. And then, like, he's terrified. My cousin's terrified of his family. And he doesn't have the capacity to think for himself. Which is the large majority of people. The fuck? We go through the system that everyone else has laid out for us. And they and they turn out to be failures of systems. Outdated systems. And we're like, oh, really? Going to uni doesn't guarantee me a job. Oh, really? Like, what the fuck, dude? You didn't know this? Holy shit, man. Oh my god. I don't sleep with the mattress cover, by the way. I keep putting, installing it, and then, like, when I sleep, it just gets uninstalled. You know what I'm saying? It goes up, rubs up my legs. It's so annoying. It's quicker to sleep with the mattress cover. I should make my bed as well, but I think I'm going to take a quick nap. It's just, it's just stupid. Like, what would you do after you got a billion dollars and you travel the world and everything? Invest. Invest in what? I name SP 500, Fortune 500. I need uh, a few more index funds, hedge funds, etc, 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 REITs, motherfucker man, bonds, municipals, like, oh my god, these people know fucking nothing, holy shit, they don't even know what eToro is, I bet they probably force all that, I think it was an advertisement I saw on Facebook, like, holy shit, man, you wonder why the fucking average person's broken they suffer so much when there's like a cost of living crisis, because they fucking they don't know how to manage their finances, holy shit, man, holy shit. And people are going to be salty people in the comments like, Oh, you don't know what it's like. Bro, fucking get more money. Like, why? 
do people try to aggressively save more so much instead of trying to aggressively increase their income? Now like, you can save as much as you want, you will not be richer. You can cut as many corners as you want, you will not be richer. You don't be more free. You think you'll be more, you'll be more free, but it, you won't. People think save, 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 save because it's the immediate thing we can do now. Create more income is not only difficult. It's also for the most for most people outside of the realm of possibility because they're so used to trading the time for money. Stupid. One of the most um, more energetic, passionate videos. Usually, I, like, I'm just talking, blah, 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 blah. but this is like one of my more passionate videos because not only my mother said the same thing, my cousin said the same thing, and he's a fucking idiot. And I told him that he should be he should be an entrepreneur instead. Um, because like with investments with a money system like investing you need to have a lot of money to make money in this in this case scenario now, How the fuck are you gonna make what 10% ROI is already good 8% is like fucking average 10% is already good 12% is in the mythical realm You know what you know bro unless you're fucking with Bernie Madoff or you're in a Ponzi scheme Or Charles you're in a you're with you're working with Charles Ponzi Then you're not gonna get 12% ROI annum or like 20% ROI and that's fucking delusional that's literally stupid with investments and even if you invest like a hundred a hundred thousand pounds a thousand pounds ten percent you're getting a hundred pounds a year that's fucking pennies and with 20% you're getting 200 pounds a year <laughs> oh compound interest guys oh. compound effect start hardy okay I haven't read the book actually I don't know what it's about but it's on my list like this is so stupid Stupid man! Oh my god! Invest, invest, invest. People think investing is gonna make them rich. No, poor people use the stock market to get rich. Rich people use the stock market to stay rich. Like what the fuck, dude? Jesus Christ, man. Anyways, I'm gonna go cut now and go to sleep. Sleep. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Leave mediocre, die mediocre. Don't fucking listen to these gurus tell you to invest in the stock market when you're not rich. Like how the fuck? Well, people invest 10 million in the stock market and 1 million per year for doing nothing. You don't have, you do not have 10 million liquid. And if you do have 10 million liquid and you're watching my YouTube videos, what the fuck? What are you doing here? <laughs> Yo, dude, send, send me a thing. Send me an email. I'm going to put my email in this. <laughs> Bro, I need some of that money. I'm joking. I'm joking. And let's be business partners. Yeah, woohoo. <laughs> Stupid. I'm so passionate about this topic because, like, it's so stupid to me. Like, God, the amount of people that are so uneducated. So, it's insane. And they'll be, they'll be the individuals that judge you and tell you to do this, do that. But then when you get to the top, for example, and you become a multi multi millionaire, and you realize all your dreams and your goals. They kind of project onto you because they failed all their dreams and goals. They became mediocre people, with mediocre lives, middle class bullshit, like lower middle class to middle middle class, and then like they end up being your biggest haters. They're your biggest doubters in the beginning and your biggest haters thereafter. And all you can do, pretty much, is just flex on them. Flex, 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 flex. Like, what the fuck? How are you, you going to convince them in an intellectual debate? Unless they're your close immediate family member that will sit down to you. Most people will just fucking disregard you outright. They'll just shout at you, scream at you, oh, misogynist, sexist, uh, you're a liar, uh, school is actually viable. Uh, 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 okay, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to bed because fucking. Oh my god. I got an event at 2 pm. I'm probably gonna wear my sweatpants and shit. That's gonna be so unprofessional, me putting up in sweatpants. I might just literally put up my gym clothes. Uh, I don't know what I do. I might just put up in my designer hoodie. That's it. <laughs> oh, I know it's need to catch it to me. I really wish, like, I just slept earlier. Like, I had the opportunity to sleep earlier, I just didn't take it, and I went back to the entertainment media, like a fucking idiot. Don't leave me, guys. Like, I'm gonna have to spend another day fixing my sleep. My sleep's been plaguing me for a while now. I fixed it for a few days. Not even a few days, I fixed it for like a day. Then it went by. What the fuck, dude? Holy shit. Catch you guys in the. Oh shit, man. Look at the lighting difference. You didn't treat me that way, too. Bug over, bug over you. Haha, <laughs> I'm doing with the I'm so tired, guys. My eyes are fucking shiny. Uh, it's just, I use all my energy for that, this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys realize, like, the world as it is is ending, and we're all gonna die and explode, and the apocalypse is coming.
There's not a pocket. Pocket was been exploring in like a billion years and shit. I don't know the life of the Earth, but it's most probably like close in a, in a few, in a few billion. Everything's gonna be destroyed, and the pursuit of money, like despite me being so passionate about it, and the video will, be, will actually outlive me, which is absolutely crazy to think about. The fact that like we're so also obsessed with money is concerning to me because like even I like I'm broke and I can't I literally can't sleep because of it it is slightly concerning to me like, I do want a Rolls Royce and I do want like a fucking yeah I'm the pinnacle of success I'm just posing my Rolls Royce haha <laughs> smiling and everything and I got the designer drip 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 on couture the uh and I'm flexing on all my exes and I'm fucking feeling good hey you should have been the one fuck off whore <laughs> fuck off hoe fuck off dude what uh, of a gay joke, get it? Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, Jimmy trying to sleep in the game? It ain't no secret. I'm joking. What isn't a secret is my fucking retired brain is not allowing me to sleep. I'm an actual idiot, guys. I'm, a, I'm an idiot, man. I'm a smooth brain. I'm gonna sleep. I mean, like. If, if I do like an IQ test and it comes up like with fucking uh, 10, 10 IQ, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, literally, that shit's crazy. And what else, like? Fuck with fuck with me. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm literally. Do I cut this off the video? I think I cut this off the video. Do I keep this in the video? No way I keep this in the video. Oh. That's not a good stretch. I will really catch you guys in the next video. Let me know if you die radio. Am I really gonna end this video here? Please. Tiny minute video, guys. More. Woo! Subscribe. Yeah, the majority of people have no plan to become rich. Oh, that's a bit long. The majority of people don't know how to. Hmm. That's too clickbait. The majority of people don't know how to make money. Majority of people are money stupid. Majority of people are money stupid. That's clickbait as fuck. Uh, people these days don't know how to make money. Mm. I'm not sure, you know. Or they literally gonna come on the video like thinking it's like some fucking multi-million financial advice, but I'm literally like fuck you, fuck me. Yeah, that's just the way I think. That's the way I am, and it's not hopefully I am going to become rich. In my bones, I'm become ultra, ultra wealthy. Catch you guys in the next video, peace. Oh shit, I'm just not recording. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, why did I get no sleep? Why? Oh my god, Brian Johnson, the multi-millionaire tech entrepreneur, he was like, like, sleep is one of the fastest ways people can be changing their lifestyle. Like, you can see your bedtime is non-negotiable, and my bitch ass doesn't sleep. Like, it's 10 p.m. I should sleep. If I slept at 10 p.m. and my event was 2 p.m. tomorrow, I'd be chilling, bro. I literally be chilling because like. Oh, ha, ha, I'd be chilling so much because like I wake up, I probably would sleep like six, seven hours because I already slept the night before and I wouldn't need that much rest. And then I was six hours away from ten. It's really four a.m. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I do, I do wake up at like four, five a.m. And on those days when I sleep at ten, because I'm already rested. I can wake up at one p.m. and shit, then I'm going to bed. At fucking 10 so I'm, I'm awake for nine hours so my, my body doesn't need that much more sleep then i can afford to wake up at five and then i get tired at like seven and then i just get into bed and i fucking go to sleep and then i'm slowly fixing my sleep schedule and then seven i'm sleeping and then maybe i'm, I'm really tired and i push myself because like 5 a.m wake up and i was awake for 13 that long 12 to 14 hours that day so then my body would be like, yeah, you need two hours to sleep. 7 to 7 is 7 a.m. And then I could get the 7 cycle going. 7 to 7. So I'd be slowly pushing it to, to like, 
10 p.m. sleep and 8 a.m. So it wouldn't be one day for like three days of effort, just slowly regulating my sleep. Mother, my stupid ass! Fuck, man, I need to follow my routine more. Oh, I'm suffering. I didn't mean for you guys to see the side of me. But yeah. I just uh, usually guys drink coffee here for sleep, but nah, that's a stimulus to me. I can't lie, it's cortisol. That's, that's bad habits. Like, I don't know how, but like, porn in general is one of the most dangerous things on the planet. It, it literally has similar, like, it has how it is, psychedelic effects. Like, um, the Healthy Gamer said, Dr. K was the Healthy Gamer. It literally has similar effects to heroin. And it, he lined it with psychedelic effects. Yeah, similar effects to heroin porn. So yeah, I had to cut that shit out cold turkey out of my life. I don't really think about it too much. I just when I do think about it, I like to meditate, like to read, like to distract my mind. Not even distract, I like to be productive. I think being productive is the best thing about it. But if you really are horny and you just sit down and you meditate and you think about your horniness and you process those emotions. Like kind of just, it's like a wave that just surges through you and then get along with the day. But if you think about your holiness, you try you, you try to do work, you're distracted, and you're relatively unproductive, and then you open up a tab of the hub, bro, you congratulations, you failed, bro. Like you set yourself back for another fucking few days to reset your mind. Another like another like two weeks to reset your mind. It's crazy. I don't know how this video went from majority of people don't know how to become rich to like fucking throw my porn jerk it off man. That shit I don't know, that shit's so stupid to you, like uh the lights in my face.